National Agricultural Innovation Project Way Forward for Sustainable Livelihood Improvement of Farming Communities of Sundarban, West Bengal Sundarban, situated in North and South 24 Parganas district of West Bengal, is one of the most disadvantageous areas of the country. The region is characterized by innumerable rivers, creeks and canals. The rich floral and faunal biodiversity is the essence of this archipelago and this world's largest halophytic forest was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The major livelihoods of people in and around Sundarban are agriculture and fisheries. Many poor people lose their lives every year due to shrimp, crab and honey collection in jungle. Agriculture is mainly rain fed and only traditional variety of rice is grown in Karif season. The lack of proper drainage system and salinity in soil makes agriculture less productive and risk prone. Livelihoods in the region are threatened by the high levels of risks from cyclonic storms, tidal creek erosion, embankment failures, salinity intrusion and other natural processes. National Agricultural Innovation Project Strategies for Sustainable Management of Degraded Coastal Land and Water for enhancing livelihood security of farming communities is being implemented by Central Institute of Brackish Water Aquaculture in coastal Sundarbans of West Bengal. The project is funded by Global Environment Facility of World Bank and started operation from October 2009. Through this project, we have got linkage with the vast farming communities of Sundarbans and they have taken different technologies like land shaping with water harvesting, brackish water aquaculture, paddy fish farming and farming composting and they are doing implementing the technologies by their own also. The vast stretches of monocropped lowlands are suitably upgraded through land shaping technology. The technology involves excavation of one fifth portion of lowland up to a depth of seven to eight feet. The excavated soil is spread over the adjacent land to raise it by 1.5 to 2 feet. This makes possible the cultivation of a second crop such as vegetables, oil seed, pulses, etc. in Rabi or summer season. Generally, Sundarban area receives 1700 to 1800 millimeter rainfall per year and most of the rainfall get wasted due to runoff loss. With the implementation of landscaping technology, this rainwater can be harvested and can be utilized for crop cultivation around the year. A farmer, Kartik Karan of Okhoinagur village, Kagdi block, has 0.266 hectares of land. The land was monocropped and only traditional rice varieties were grown in Karif and he was earning rupees 2200 from this land. 
land shaping technology was implemented in his 0.266 hectare of land. Now, he is practicing integrated farming, crop, vegetable, fish in his farm. Vegetables are being grown throughout the year on the raised land. This small piece of land is now giving him a net income of rupees 50,000 per annum approximately. Now he and his family are keeping better health as they are consuming fresh vegetables and fish cultivated in his farm. He is now a very happy farmer. My name is Karthi Karan. I am very happy. I am in Kagdi Research Center. প্রথম আমি এখানে ল্যান্ড সেভিংস এর কাজ করাই এবং সেই জমিতে মাছ এবং সবজি চাষ করে আমি আমার জীবিকা নির্বাহ করি এখান থেকে বছরে 50 থেকে 60000 টাকা রোজগার করি এবং তাতে করে আমার ফ্যামিলির ভরণ পোষণ সবকিছু পূরণ হয়ে যায় As plenty of brackish water is available in this region, a large section of people earn their livelihood from fishing and aquaculture. The land adjacent to brackish water river and creeks lying fallow due to high salinity was converted into ponds and brackish water aquaculture was introduced. The brackish water pond was excavated during the month of January to February and pond area was 0.13 to 0.2 hectare with a depth of 5.6 feet and pond bund raised with excavated soil. The farmers earned profit of rupees 1 lakh to 2 lakh per hectare per year from harvested fish and shrimp. There is a plenty of available brackish water in this region which is being effectively utilized under this NAP project through adoption of brackish water aquaculture interventions. Nondudulal Jana is a farmer from Gongadharpur village, Kagdi block, had 0.2 hectares of land adjacent to brackish water river, which was lying fallow due to high soil salinity and he was not having any income from this land. Through National Agricultural Innovation Project or NAIP, a brackish water pond was excavated and major inputs like shrimp and fish seed, feed, lime and fertilizer were supplied and polyculture was demonstrated. Now, he is earning approximately rupees 50,000 per annum from this land. Our name is Nandadulal Jana, Gangadharpur Gram, Kagdip Thana, Dukhin Joy Sarvana, Badi Amar. Goto Agaro Baro Sale Amar Pukutta Kati De NAIP Project Madhumi, E Jagatama Dedbiga Jaga Kati Dechi, Ragi Dedbiga Jaga Tika, and Bosore Kuporjo Dupasota Pitam, Tao Pitamna, Emi Bonajongole Purachilo. তাই এনআইপি এর মাধ্যমে এটা পুকুর কাটিয়ে 50000 টাকা খরচ করে কাটিয়ে দিয়েছে তারপরে আমাদেরকে ট্রেনিং ও দিয়েছে তারপরে আমরা এতে পাঁচ মেশালি মাছ চাষ করছি এই জায়গাটা থেকে এবছর প্রায় 50 60000 টাকার মতো পাবো আশা করছি গত বছরও প্রায় বেশ কিছু টাকা পেয়েছিলাম তাতে করে আমার বাড়ির ছেলে মেয়েরা মোটামুটি স্কুলে যাচ্ছে পড়াশোনা করছে আমরাও ভালো ভালোভাবে থাকতে পাচ্ছি খেতে পাচ্ছি The project demonstrated that the lowlands can be utilized profitably by integrating fish culture along with deep water paddy during Kharif season. Trenches of about 3 meter width and 1.5 meter depth were excavated. In some cases, small ponds were also dug along with the trenches. Gautam Panja a farmer from Ganeshnagar, Namkhana block, was given paddy cum fish culture in his 0.2 hectare low-lying land. 
After one month of paddy transplantation, Katla, Rohu, Mrigal and Scampi was stocked. Before implementation of the paddy cum fish culture, the land was used only for paddy cultivation and he was earning rupees 2000. Now he is earning rupees 15000 from his land. Amar naam Sri Gautam Panja, Bari Ganesh Nagar, Oshto Ganesh Nagar. Ami age ei mathe dhan chash kortam, pore NIP er madhye ei pukhur khonon kore dewar por mach chash korchi, dhan chash korchi, ete prochur labho pacchi. Lab 15 theke 16000 takar moto lab pacchi. Pore shobji chasho korte pacchi. Er theke ami onek upokrito hoyechi. Ami chaichi agami dine aro bhalo kore bhalo bhabe korar jonno Vermi composting or composting with earthworms is a technique for recycling organic waste or kitchen wastes in the backyard into valuable organic fertilizers. Farmers use this vermicompost in betel vine orchards, vegetable gardens, etc. Kobita Maiti is a farmer from Gongadharpur village, Namkhana. She is getting 3 to 5 ton vermicompost per year. She uses this compost in betel vine, paddy, potato and vegetable fields. It reduces the cost and quantity of inorganic manure. Amar naam Kobita Rani Maithi, Gongadharpur Bari. Ami ekhane amar bari the kagdip gobesona kendra NIP theke amake ketchu sar toiri jonno bari the ora project hisabe diyechi. Sar ta bajar theke kinte hoto, ekhon se sar ta ar kinte hoteche kom. Mane tar half. जे फर्टिलाइजर टा मोटा मोटी दीते हो, ताचे हाफ आमदेर फर्टिलाइजर प्रोजेन है जे, इर मध्य थे के आम्रा विभिन्न शब्जिते बोरोजे पानेर बोरोजे आम्रा दावहर करते पार्ची तात्थे के अनेक उपक्रित हो। Several alternative crops like sunflower and pulse were also introduced in Sundarban area through this project. The project also demonstrated income generating activities like nursery raising of horticulture crops and fish, integrated nutrient management, mushroom cultivation, livestock health management and beekeeping. Empowerment of men and women farmers was done through capacity building and skill development. In uh, Sundarban, the soil and water is degraded. That's why the productivity is quite low. So with different inter interventions, we are trying to see that how the productivity can be increased in one aspect and in another way, how that environment uh, situation can be improved further. So we are collecting the soil and different water parameters to see that whatever we are implementing in our uh, uh, villages, what is the impact over the environment. All the technology is disseminated through the Rural Technology Centre. Model integrated farming system has been developed at Kagdeep Research Center to demonstrate the integrated farming to the farmers of Sundarban. The project showed very positive economic, social and environmental impact in this region. In future, this all the technologies under the NIP will be a boon for development of the library security for the coastal farming communities of Sundarman area of West Bengal. The interventions under this project have created a new hope for better future 
to the farming communities of Sundarban area. It could solve the problem of degradation of land due to salinity, drainage congestion and scarcity of fresh water for irrigation. The project has shown the path towards implementation of eco-friendly and sustainable technologies for employment generation, enhanced rural livelihood security and overall improvement of socio-economic status through efficient use of natural resources of the coastal region.